Have you ever wondered what it feels like to stand on the precipice of a disaster, knowing that something terrifying is about to occur? Imagine a small coastal town where life hums along in a peaceful, ordinary rhythm. The sun shines brightly, casting long, playful shadows. Residents move about engrossed in their daily tasks, their laughter echoing through the narrow streets. The sea, a constant companion, laps gently at the shore, whispering stories of far-off lands. But then, subtly, the atmosphere begins to shift. A chill wind sweeps through the town, an unwelcome guest. The birds, usually so full of song, retreat into silence, their melodies replaced by an unsettling quiet. Dogs whine and pace restlessly, their eyes reflecting a primal fear. The sea, once a comforting presence, recedes unusually far from the shore, leaving a yawning emptiness. As the day draws to a close, a sense of unease settles over the town, an instinctive understanding that something is not right. Then, without warning, the world turns upside down. The tranquility of the day shatters like a mirror struck by a hammer, a sudden terrifying shift in the rhythm of life. The ground beneath the town's feet, once stable and assuring, starts to shake violently, as if possessed by a monstrous beast. The buildings, those colossal guardians of civilization, tremble and crumble, surrendering to the overwhelming force. It's as if the earth itself has awakened from a deep slumber, its growls echoing through the streets, the rumbling vibrations coursing through every brick, every stone, every soul. The town, once a beacon of human achievement, is now a playground for nature's wrath, a testament to our vulnerability. The sea, a serene vista just moments ago, now roars like a ferocious beast, its waves towering, threatening. It hurtles towards the town with a relentless, merciless force. The once welcoming horizon is now a wall of impending doom, a tidal wave of chaos and destruction. The sea, often a symbol of life and sustenance, now becomes an agent of annihilation, a harbinger of despair. The peaceful scene from earlier is now a distant memory, replaced by a landscape of chaos and destruction. The air is filled with the cacophonous symphony of shattering glass, the screams of terror, the cruel melody of devastation. The world of the townsfolk, once so predictable, is now a theatre of the unpredictable, a stage for the unleashing of a dreadfully sublime spectacle. And in the midst of it all, the sheer power of the natural disaster stands undisputed, unchallenged. A chilling reminder of the elemental forces that shape our world, forces that can create and forces that can destroy. The unpredictability of these events, their sudden onset, their catastrophic impact, all serve to amplify the terror, to heighten the tension. The storm, in all its dread and fury, sweeps across the town. Within moments, the world as the townsfolk knew it, the world they had built with their dreams and hopes, their sweat and toil, is swept away. In the blink of an eye, the world as they knew it was gone. When the dust settles, what remains of a world that once was? We're left with a town that's now a ghost of its former self, a landscape forever altered by the relentless force of nature. Buildings, once teeming with life, now stand silent and empty. Streets, once bustling with activity, now lay quiet under a blanket of debris. The once familiar sights and sounds of the town have been replaced by the eerie quiet of desolation. But in the midst of this devastation, a beacon of hope begins to shine. The survivors, though battered and bruised, are not broken. They stand tall, their spirits unyielding in the face of adversity. Their determination to rebuild from the rubble is nothing short of inspiring. In the hushed whispers of the wind, in the steadfast gaze of the survivors, a promise is made. A promise of recovery, of rebuilding, of resilience. Amid the ruins, the human spirit stands undefeated. In the face of nature's wrath, humanity's strength and resilience shine the brightest. Nature's fury is a stark reminder of our place in the world. It is humbling and at times terrifying to witness its raw, unbridled force. But in these moments of awe and fear, we are reminded of our fragility and the preciousness of life. The power of nature is not to be trifled with. It demands our respect and preparation. Such disasters serve as stark reminders, compelling us to question our readiness. For when the next storm comes, as it inevitably will, will we stand ready?